Hey Pisces, how's it going? How has your September, how has your August been? We're heading into September. You got any big plans? Oh, maybe. Hmm. Well, I'd like for you to do something before we start on your September reading. I'd like for you to take all of the deep, dark, ugly emotions that you've been grappling with over the past month, the past few months, the past year, anything that you don't want to carry with you anymore. I want you to take all of that suffering, pain, emotional anguish, all of those things. Wrap them up together in a neat little package. And I would like for you to just send them right into the flame of this candle, right? Send them right into that flame. Perfect. Great job, Pisces. Yeah, you're doing great. Awesome. Wonderful. Yeah. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. For the readings this month, I'm going to be using the initiatory tarot of the Golden Dawn. Excuse me. Hmm. Spoiler alert. Everybody's getting the Hierophant. Hierophant this, Hierophant that. Everybody's on their high horse all of a sudden. Maybe some of you are getting married. Wants to be there. So this is the box for these cards. There's the Queen of Chalices on the back, or on one side I guess, and then the Queen of Wands on the other side. What is your current state of affairs? We've got the Hanged Man. 
This is about a sacrifice that's possible for you to make for your own spiritual development. That's what I'm taking from this with the Hierophant and the Hanged Man together. What about the past? There is an imbalance the two of pentacles and it's in the reverse or perhaps things became imbalanced for you in the not too distant past so the current state of affairs we have these three cards here this one is very much like your sun sign in that it is the self that you are projecting out to the world. This one is very much like your rising sign in that it is the self that is reflected back to you by the world around you. And just like there are three sides to every story, between them we have the truth. We have the Queen of Wands here, and she's in the reverse. She kept peeking at me while I was shuffling. I thought that was very interesting. And of course, Pisces is water energy. So it's possible that some of you have fire in your charts. Look and see what's going on with that. The Queen of Wands is an, a Leo energy type card. Um. And in the rivers here, it could be uh, someone who is gossiping excessively, someone who is using their influence with their peers to have people like shunned from the group. Cancel culture is a queen of wands in reverse type of thing. Uh, when it is wielded as a weapon instead of being used to rid your peer group of uh, problematic people. And we're talking really problematic, like violence against women and minorities type of people. This is that gone horribly wrong. What do we have here on either side? We have the Six of Wands, which is victory. And then we have the Five of Pentacles on the other side of that. And I want to verify because the meanings in this deck are just slightly different from the typical tarot deck. And a lot of work was put into the symbolism of this deck, so I can't just ignore it and pretend it will go away. Issues concluded, but with little satisfaction. So, maybe you see something as a victory for you, but other people see it as, well, the issue's been resolved, but nobody's really happy about it except you. It's a, there's a very scorched earth kind of situation going on right here for some of you Pisces. Um, now, we have the future card right here, but uh, I prefer to look at the hopes and fears first, because then we can deal with the future all in one chunk. And actually, what's coming out here is the Princess of Wands in the reverse. So, I think in some ways, you're either very happy with how things turned out, and you're glad that you were able to act in that way, or maybe you are 
afraid of becoming that person. And therefore, that's a fear that you have, is that you're going to be this person who is, you know, getting people... I'm really seeing this as a situation where you got somebody kicked out of a social group uh, for your own political reasons, rather than the fact that maybe they weren't that great of a person. And that's a very interesting Pisces energy. This is very atypical Pisces. Uh, you guys surprise me all the time. I know like maybe April of last year you guys were turning into Leos all of a sudden. It was very interesting, very strange. Um, here we have the goal or destiny. And here we have the final outcome. So let's look at the future first. And it's the tower. There's going to be a huge change. All right. The destiny is the nine of wands. You're always going to be having to hold up the fort, having to protect your turf. But the Nine of Wands is not as much about protecting the turf as the Seven of Wands is. The Nine of Wands is more like being a sentinel outside the city, having to defend the city, having to def defend your peer group from questionable people. And we have here the final outcome, which... <laughs> is then the Seven of Wands. Feeling like you always have to defend yourself from attack. It starts out as being a defender of your friends. And then it turns into this energy of you feeling like you are always on the defensive. Oh boy, Pisces, this is a very atypical reading for you. Usually Pisces are pretty chill, but there's also to bear in mind that this is a Pisces sun, moon, and rising sign video, general reading. So that's a lot. And a lot of you could definitely have very strong fire sign placements. So for those of you, this is going to be especially true. All right, let's clear a few things up. I'll be using the Flux Arcana, which is the major Arcana deck put out and designed by Micah Ulrich. Yeah, I'd like to look at this tower moment for sure. Um, I really want to know more about your motivations here. And I'd like to know more about this as well. I think a lot of this is definitely rooted in this imbalance situation from your past. Maybe the hunted has become the hunter, that kind of deal. We have the High Priestess. So, I think this is like a moon in Scorpio kind of a card. It's definitely a moon card. But I think the Golden Dawn correspondence, which is what we'll use for this reading, out of respect to the Golden Dawn deck, moon correspondence. We've got the magician in the reverse air, elemental air. And the devil, upright, playing to your baser nature. 
definitely. The Hanged Man coming out again. This has put you in kind of a stasis with these people, with your group, whether this is a work situation or uh, with a group of friends. I'm really sensing that this is like some kind of animosity within a group of friends, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the case. And the lovers. There could be romantic entanglements involved. So the High Priestess and the Magician, the way that these two are coming together. You desperately want to keep your secrets, I think, and because of that, you're cutting yourself off from your manifestation. I mean, you're gonna get what you want anyway. That's what I'm seeing. But what you want might not be what's best for you or the people around you. The Tower card. Justice and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So, you know, both of those things being against your favor or maybe justice in your favor, but not for the greater good. And eventually this is going to turn fortune against your favor. And there will be a time of reckoning. We have justice coming out in the reverse to begin with. So there will be a miscarriage of justice, but it will result in a later reckoning for probably for you, but I guess this could be also a situation in which you are reaping the benefits of someone else's actions. I'm just not, I haven't really gotten that from this reading. Um, and up here, always needing to defend yourself and your friends. Emperor. Absolutely. This is not Piscean energy at all. This is Aries energy. Give it back. I'm just kidding. We do have strength. I mean, there is a certain amount of strength that will be required to carry out this particular to see this through to the end because you know we've got a lot of wands here and a lot of self-defense. We've got a lot of defensive wounds popping up. I have the temperance card here, which is not just about uh, balance in your life. It is providing a contrast to this, to a pentacle situation in the past. I think balance is being restored in a lot of ways here. But this also is about your uh, mastery of your own manifestation techniques. We have here the star, and again, uh, this being more like Aries energy, or Aquarius energy, sorry. This being more like Aquarius energy, but this does talk about somebody coming into their own and possibly gaining fame or fortune, or both. And then we've been having, I have been having the Empress come out in the reverse from this deck in almost every reading that I've done this month. It's very interesting energy. It's almost like a rejection of the Divine Feminine creative power. Like you're cutting off part of yourself to spite someone else. Interesting look, Pisces. Interesting look indeed. So here I have some rocks. Let's see. Let's 
see what it says. Chasing paper. This, uh, the shells have come out and they are money. That's your money. So we do have one of these shells over here by the Princess of Wands. It looks like this may have had to do with a work situation because you want to be this fiery, powerful entity. And the shell is over here touching that. Now this other shell is way off in the future. This is like... So... It's beyond whatever this tower moment is. It's going to be much later than, af than after this happens. Is where the money comes in. I do have an opal here on the lovers. I think this is the crux of the issue. Um, it might not necessarily have been your romantic relationship either. I feel like this was something that affected everyone in this group, and therefore you felt like you needed to do something about it. So here we have the magician in the reverse, and that also has an opal on it, right? And. To me, that says that um, I think you didn't expect it to work. I think you weren't expecting to have this level of power and control in this situation. Um, we have these three stones lined up here along the Hierophant. You've only done this because you felt like it was the right thing to do. It goes from that imbalance from your past through, and both of these stones are touching the top and bottom of the scroll that he has here in his hand, unfurled. So it's like this is the alpha and omega of my moral code, and you've gone basically from top to bottom just, you know, trying to tick off all of my boxes along the way. Everything that I believe in. <laughs> that seems a little extreme. I'm sure that's not completely true for all of you, but basically you've done this and created this tower moment in the future because you feel really strongly about this moral code and preserving the status quo, possibly, and you see it as an extension of this imbalance from your past. The money leading away from this Princess of Wands, too, there's like a turquoise stone here bridging this gap, leading toward the Hierophant and the Hanged Man as well. And I think this is kind of speaking to this being a sacrifice, possibly a monetary sacrifice too, that you made because you were making this sacrifice for the betterment of the entire situation and for yourself overall. So you knew that in this time it was really going to be unpleasant, but that further down the road it would be worth it. And then the last thing we have here is this quartz crystal on the edge of the Empress, and the quartz is like a healing stone, it's a rectifier, and this one is kind of a smoky quartz. It's got a lot of very gray dark uh, mist inside of it. And that is reminding you that part of your healing process from all of this is going to be rest restoration of the Divine Feminine. And not to neglect that. 
that doesn't matter if you're a man or if you're a woman. Uh, it's going to be important for you to restore that part of yourself, especially for Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me today, Pisces. I love doing these readings for you. I'm so glad that you come back month after month to hang out with me. Please, if you enjoy these videos, comment down below. Tell me what you think. As long as it's positive. I do delete negative comments, even if they're not particularly bad. And I really just do that for my own mental health, so I hope that you wouldn't take it personally. And I would hope that you would also do the same. Subscribe if you feel like it. Like the video. Share it with your friends. If you think they might get something out of it. Um, thank you so much for your support month after month. I really do love you guys to pieces. I hope you have a great September. And I hope to see you again. Very soon.